Hey guys, I'm going to make a short video about great two-player games for the new Analog Duo or your old Turbo Graphics or PC Engine. Uh, first is probably the most well-known, Street Fighter II. This is a really good port of the arcade version of the game. It is on hue card form. It does have some Japanese text boxes, but the gameplay is really good. Even if you just use the two-button controller, uh, the simple setup they have for it, I kind of learned to play the game that way. and it, It's not as bad as you think if you take the time to get to play it, but it's a great version of Street Fighter II. Another really good two-player game, and this one actually can be for three or four players, is Niketsu Soccer. Now, this game came in hue card form and uh, CD form for the PC Engine. This version has extra teams and it also has better music and some cutscenes that are in Japanese. You can play through the game co-op together, two players in tournament mode, or you can play two on each side with up to four players. It is a great, fun, arcade-style soccer. NES World Cup was kind of the, the U.S. version of this game. Uh, another great two-player game is Double Dragon The Revenge, uh, Double Dragon 2 for the PC Engine. It does have some really good and some well-done animated scenes that are in Japanese. Otherwise, the options are in English. It's a really fun two-player version of the game. It's not quite the NES game, nor is it quite the arcade game. It's kind of like a hybrid version, and it's really fun. Another good two-player game is the Versus mode in Niketsu Dodgeball. Uh, this game is based off the arcade version of the game, and you can play through the one-player tournament alone, but there's also a two-player Versus mode where you both play as the Japanese team, but it's really fun because it's so similar to that really fun, I think, 1980s, 1987 arcade version of the game. Another game that kind of flies under the radar with just terrible box art here is Taking It to the Hoop. I love this game because it's very similar to uh, Double Dribble for the NES, but it's better. The graphics are better. You kind of have these cartoony, caricature-like players. And it's surprisingly simple and yet deep with how you manage your player roster as they get tired. And you can kind of use the manual to help you uh, navigate the stats of each player. But it's, it's, a, it's a decent little simple arcade basketball game. Another really fun two-player game, and this one is co-op, is Chew Man Food. Now, this is the type of game you might be likely to ignore like I was years ago until I happened to pick it up and then I couldn't stop playing it. It's basically a puzzle game where you use these two twin sisters and you, you have to put these colored balls onto the, the, their matching plates while avoiding and killing monsters on single screens. It's really addictive. It's a great game. There's also a little, my daughter and I like playing the little kickball. There's also a little versus kickball game where you kind of play like mini soccer. And the last game I wanted to mention here, a great two-player game, is Kadash. Now, this is an excellent version of the arcade or port of the arcade version of the game. Uh, again, two-player co-op. You can level up. You can pick between four different characters. Uh, you learn magic. You go to different towns and you buy weapons. It's a very interesting arcade-style action RPG, which is fairly rare. The only thing this one will probably need in the future is the benefit of the save states that will be on the firmware updates for the Analog Duo eventually. It's not a long game. You could probably beat it in about two hours playing with two people together, but this one will benefit from the save state, so you can kind of save your progress because as of now, it doesn't allow uh, passwords or anything like that. But guys, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day, and God bless.